I fight because this is what I was made to do, and the Empire is the instrument through which I realize my pro- What the hell, man? Must you breed so heavily? How is it possible that you're from the future and your mass makes louder noise than mine? This makes no sense. The Empire has taught you to be a mouth breather. Join me in the dark side by buying your Darth Malgus 1-6 scale figure at SaitoCollectibles.com. Link is in the description. Okay, kids. It's time for you. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Star Wars The Old Republic Sideshow Collectible Starf Malgus 1-6 scale collectible figure. I'd like to thank SideshowCollectibles.com for sending out this figure to review for you guys. You can buy this right now at their website. Link is in the description. You can see the packaging on here. It's really nice. It's the new Star Wars Sideshow Collectibles packaging. So Star Wars The Old Republic Darth Malgus has a nice picture of him. From the game looking pretty badass as I say so myself with his lightsaber. It has the Sideshow exclusive sticker since it's the Sideshow collectibles exclusive of course. It says six scale. The side of the box has the Darth Malgus logo right there as you can see it continues that same picture as well as it does for the other side. The back of the box has a really awesome menacing picture of Darth Malgus as you can see right here and has the Old Republic right there SideshowCollectibles.com. Top of the box has the Star Wars the Old Republic logo. All the bottom has the SideshowCollectibles.com logo as well as all the their information. There's actually a magnet on the side here that you can actually open up from the side. The inside of the cover has the Darth Malgus logo and has a little bile about him. And you know, his early age as well, the dark will be young, uh, very done, sensitivity to the force, feel free to pause and read them. Here you can see the figure in this nice window box with the exclusive head you can only get from SideshowCollectibles.com. Well, it's time for you guys to join me in the dark side. And here we got the Star Wars, the Old Republic, Sideshow Collectible, Star Malgus 1-6 scale figure. Holy crap, he is one of the coolest looking Sith Lords ever. Let's take a closer look at him. Now, Darth Malgus, if you didn't know, is from Star Wars The Old Republic, the video game. Um, he hasn't appeared in any of the films yet. The games take place about 3,500 years before um, Episode 1. So he precedes, you know, Vader, Palpatine, Maul, all of those awesome um, Sith Lords. And he is a pretty awesome Sith Lord himself if you played any of the Old Republic games. He is freaking cool. Now, uh, he is uh, one of those scarred uh, characters, as you can see here. He has a breathing mask that Saichu does include, and what's cool, it is removable, and I'll get more into the mask here, but you can see here, this is uh, Malgus from his scarred look. Uh, if you know the game or read the books, you know how he gets these scars. I won't spoil it because I spoil way too many things, but yeah, you can see the detail that Saichu's put on there is pretty incredible. And just all around, just really like impressive, like with all the different paint apps and everything. I even love those eyes, those Sif eyes. Now it's cool and I'm making his head look all weird. He does have a little attachment for the mask. And I guess I'll show more of the mask here. And then, by the way, I really like the neck piece right there. It's pretty cool. And he has this mask right here, which is pretty freaking sweet for a Sith Lord attaches very nicely over him and it's made for this head which I'll get over so you just pretty much attach it right there and he really looks cool either way if you want to have him with the mask with the hood on you know the hood you can place him right on here to give him more of a siffy you know look right there he just has some really awesome looks going on now let's look at the armor right here the armor is really nice you know, has some really amazing paint apps. And the shoulder armor is actually on ball joints right here, which I'll get more into. And you can actually remove this, the whole um, chest armor and cape. Uh, it's attached with Velcro, which is very nice. I really do like the cape. Also, the cape is um, actually, it's not hanging out of the bottom, so the cape can drape over and fold at scale. And it's achieved via die cast, which is cool. The shoulder pieces too, because they're all on ball joints, you can tuck the cape under here if you so desire to show more of that really nice uh, shoulder armor. And he has some really awesome um, armor, just all, it's a really unique suit. And it's cool, um, the way they did it, you know, they have a mixture of plastic and rubberized um, material so he does have some pretty good articulation and he is on a Prometheus body with some added um, like uh, high, uh, pieces to make him a little bit bigger so I really do like that a lot I really love the hand armor I really love 
these gauntlets too. They're really freaking sweet, really awesome. So yeah, you can see here, um, like all the different uh, pieces of his armor is pretty intricate, especially since this is based on a CG uh, eye character. You know, it was never made a real world you know, film version. I mean, a lot of Star Wars characters are pretty much CGI characters, at least how Lucas was making them. But still, you know, pretty cool for making a real life uh, version of this character in the least plastic form. You know, it's really cool that you can see it. And like on the belt, here's his Sith bud, you know, really awesome. But yeah, I really like it. Also, the thigh armor is kept together with Velcro and you can take it off here if you so choose it. You know, I really think it's pretty awesome. You know, every little bit detail on there. Love the paint apps on this guy. It's just really like a really cool looking character. Now for articulation, Darth Malgus' head is on a nice ball joint that can fully rotate as well as go up and down. It has also a neck joint that can go forward and back, side to side, and also rotate in. So it has really nice head movement. Uh, like I said, with this, these ball joint and shoulder pieces, they can like move left and right and pretty much fully rotate and you can tuck the cape in there and um, it, which is really great so it allows his arms to pretty much uh, almost fully rotate you know minus the material here but it can move up pretty good can go uh, in and out can rotate at the bicep bend out the elbow almost two joints but you know gets hindered a little bit right here but um, it does also rotate at the elbow right here which is great rotates at the wrist as well as go in and out he does uh, doesn't really have a upper ab crunch because this is pretty hard right here so he can't really crunch forward or back he kind of has a waist joint but uh, it's just like I said it's gonna mess with the you know aesthetics of the armor so it can't really move right there but the legs do go forward and back in and out like I said because this is on velcro you can remove this and move that to your desire because you can rotate the part like you can bend at almost two points in the knee then the knee armor is separate joints so you can move it pretty good and then the ankles the boots can fully rotate they can pivot forward and back and he does have ankle pivot side to side oh also with the cape this hood is uh, has a wire in it so it's nice and articulated so you can make it uh you have to uh, fiddle with it a bit but you can make some really cool looks I love it. Now Darth Malgus comes with a few accessories he comes with four pairs of hands kind of has the force pushing hands which is very cool yeah he also comes with a pair of fisted hands which are also very nice and then he comes with one pair of a uh, lightsaber gripping hands and a pair of kind of force choking hands which is very cool so and i always love how sideshow has each individual hands have their pegs which uh, hot toys would still do this because i love how sideshow does this Darth malgus also comes with two versions of his lightsaber i always love his lightsaber because it looks like a weapon when even it's not lit up uh, very cool so this is the unlit up lightsaber and then he also comes with the lit up lightsaber has this nice red translucent plastic to make it look like it's lit up it'd be cool if it uh, lit up but it doesn't now one thing that's cool about this lightsaber with his especially his right um uh, lightsaber holding hand so it might say like how do you get it in there now what's cool that sideshow did is that you can actually remove the bottom of the hilt so you just remove this, then you can slide this in here, and then you just reattach this, and then that way he can hold his lightsaber. Since this is the Sideshow Collectibles exclusive, you get an extra head, which is Darth Malgus before he got scarred. It's a really uh, beautifully detailed head with that same Sith eyes. I really like it a lot. Now the thing is, the mask um, isn't intended for the head, so if you're going to uh, use this head, you won't be able to put on the mask, but you know, that's if you choose to use this head it's a sideshow exclusive and a very cool exclusive at that and last but not least you get this sideshow uh, stand that says star wars the old republic with the adjustable cradle we must now defend the heart of our own territory i am enraged at the good good let the anger flow through you roll with all your hate hey you can't tell me what to do you're nothing but a baby in like three thousand years Ooh. What's that smell? You smell like a baby. Ugh, you need to change your diaper. Size comparison time. So here you can see that Darth Malgus is a pretty tall figure. He is taller than a standard 1.6L figure like the Hot Toys uh, Luke Skywalker. He isn't as tall as, say, Darth Vader, who's a pretty tall uh, character. But yeah, you can see uh, Vader if, with his helmet is a little bit taller. But still, he's about 
almost like 13 inches tall, probably like yeah, 13 inches, so he's still pretty good size. Now, if you're a fan of the Sith, this is definitely one of the coolest looking uh, Sith Lords we've uh, gone in. Uh, like I said, you might not know uh, Darth Malgus if you didn't play the Star Wars the Old Republic or um, you know, read any of the books or anything. But really, like, he's a really cool character, I think. And I really think that Saicho really nailed it in bringing him to life in plastic form. Just the amount of detail and paint apps and the articulation. And I really love the extra head that you get here. And there's so many different looks. You can have him with the mask or without the mask or with the hood. And he just looks so freaking cool. Like I said, if you want to build your ranks of Sif, uh, this uh, would, you know, having Vader and uh, Maul and you know all, all these great uh, Sith Lords and I definitely think Malgus is definitely one to add and hopefully they do more Old Republic uh, characters he looks freaking cool uh, you can get uh, get this right now Sideshow Collectibles Log Com for $184.99 for everything you get I think it's really awesome deal I'm really a big fan of this figure and character so I, I highly recommend it for more geek news reviews, podcasts, more, check out SeanXLong.com, HeatsNerd.net. I'm Sean Long, remember to celebrate your name, and it'll be great. Check out BKPN.net. Jason David Frank, Tommy the Green Ranger. <laughs> you were deceived, and now your republic shall fall. Yes, I was deceived. I thought my father was dead, but apparently he's alive. Are you my father? No, I am your father. Oh, it's not true. It's impossible. What's impossible is the fact that you both are alive. You won't be alive for 3,500 years or so. This makes no sense. But at least I get the original trilogy Darth Vader. I don't get the freaking emo Anakin Skywalker. But knowing Disney, they might bring him back.